congratulations to Tim Hartung. Now we move on to our heavyweights, and the matchup has Trent Hennick from Iowa State and Junior. Check it out. That's not a misprint. The 11th seed with a record of 23 and 9 into the finals. Taking on big Stephen Neal, undefeated this year from Cal State Bakersfield with a mark of 38 and 0. And that's his patented move, the running double, and he gets it right away on Trent Hinnick to take it to nothing lead. Neal in the blue. Oh, they went out of bounds. They did go out of bounds. That one did score. So Neal with a 2 nothing lead now as he gets that low double again on Hinnick. Neal lost to champion Kerry McCoy of Penn State in the finals last year. And this junior is hungry for the top step. Now looking to turn Hennick. Looking to get Hennick on his back for the pen. Hennick manages to roll. Hennick is a huge surprise as an 11th seed to come in here. 23 and 9 record. And he has done the job to get to the finals, beating some tough wrestlers, including Richardson of Michigan, to get here. His strength, he says, is his conditioning. He's worked really hard. He feels he can outgo the heavyweights, but Stephen Neal is a junior and an exceptional athlete. Lost in the finals to Kerry McCoy at Penn State last year on a stalling call. Since then, he has rattled off 38 straight victories. And I know USA Wrestling is drooling over the prospect of giving him an international race. Absolutely. But you know, this is the only victory that would count for him this year. Very disappointed with that loss. He's used it to motivate himself all year long. Two to one. There was an escape point for Hennick a moment ago. Hennick in the red and dark blue of the Iowa State Cyclone. T.J. Kerr, coach at Bakersfield. Daryl Pope, one of the assistants who Neil says he works out with quite a bit. Bobby Douglas, the head coach of Iowa State, but he's not in the corner. Tom Ortiz and Chris Bono are. But you can bet Douglas isn't far, and he is coaching. Ooh, and they say they went out of bounds, but Neil nearly getting a takedown and back points there. That was a shot of Chris Bono. He lost in the finals here last year to Lincoln McElravey of Iowa. But he did win a national championship the year before. Yep. Made it tough for McElravey to win his third. Another takedown for Stephen Neal with a minute and 11 seconds to go in the first period. It is four to one for the big San Diego native. And it will be on the bottom. Neal with 41 seconds of riding time. Try to up that to a minute. Get an extra point so we can hang on for that one minute through the match. He might even cut him loose here and try for the takedown again. He's doing a pretty good job of riding. Neil is very tall. He's about 6'5". He's still growing. Still growing. That's the key. <laughs> he's, only, he's only a junior. He's such a raw talent. He's, he's, he can do acrobatics and... Certainly, he can do wrestling techniques. He's a very mobile heavyweight. It isn't a straightforward. He can create motion, and he's got the power to back it up. He's got a brother that swims for Cal State Bakersfield. Very athletic family, and now he does have over a minute of riding time. Jack and Ellis, mom and dad are here watching their son. He's getting back points now with the legs in. That seems to be a power half, Nelson. Stephen Neal dominating this match, the number one seed and number 11 seed. So far, the first three minutes going to four. You see the face of Trent Hennick buried into this mat at Cleveland State University, and Stephen Neal not about to give an inch. If he's not going to be able to turn him here, the referee will intervene and call either a... Uh... A stalemate? Yeah, that's what they're going to do, stalemate right there. But he got the three points, seven to one with seven seconds to go. Stephen Neal on top. Hennick said he's meeting his dream right now, an opportunity at the national title. He, too, is a junior. He's getting a taste of what he's going to have to face next year again if he wants to meet his dream again. That's the end of the first period, seven to one. Neal leads. We'll be back in a moment. Ten to one.
as we begin the third period, Stephen Deal of Cal State Bakersfield leading Iowa State's Trent Hinnick, the 11th seed coming into this championship. Hinnick defeated the number two, number three, and number six seeds to earn his way into this championship final, but he is finding his hands full of Stephen Deal, another takedown, and it is 12 to two for Neal, the number one seed with a record of 38 and 0. Roadrunners, big wrestler, lost in the finals last year, determined to find himself on top of that podium. And his pat move is that running double. And young wrestlers take note. You don't shoot and stop. You shoot and follow through. And Stephen Neal follows through, taking his opponent all the way across the map before knocking him down. Such a great talent. He's just going to get better. Just a junior. Both of these men are juniors. Who knows? We can see a matchup like this next year at Penn State at the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships. A minute 30 to go in the final match of our championships here at Cleveland State. Well, Trent has nothing to bow his head about. He beat the six seed, the three seed, and the two seed to get into the finals. But he's running into the best of them all right now. Stephen Neal, the runner up last year, to carry the ball. Neal jumped the gun just a bit from the neutral position. Now go down with a double leg and falls over Hennig. And his balance is just so good. 14 to 3. Hennig tried to roll through their line, and you know, Steven showed. He just extended, held the position, stopped the momentum, finished the takedown. Steven Neal looks to be on his way to concluding an undefeated season after his loss in the finals last year. He cuts Hennig loose. Another point. 15 to 4 now is the score here. With under a minute to go. Gets him again. One. He's got it again. Two more. He needs 19 for a technical fall. It is 17 to 4 right now. And there's no let up in this athlete. He keeps attacking. 40 seconds. And he wants to do it on his feet. Feels he can control everything here. See how he finishes here. Uh, that's a bad position now. His arms are extended out in front of him. He'll probably try to hang on and get for, wait for a stalemate. Well, he's got riding time. Neil does, so he just needs one takedown wow. for Painter. Did he get it? He got it. And now will do it. That's going to do it. 19 to 5. Well, he doesn't but he doesn't get the point. Well, they're going to get riding time going. They're going to keep going. He does have a technical fall right now. In essence, he's going to get that one point for riding time, but officially it's not on the scoreboard. Well, 20 seconds to go. If he rides him out, then it will be called the technical fall. Tremendous performance by the Cal State Bakersfield athletes. He's only a junior. Junior, these two could meet again. Trent's learning a lesson tonight. He'll be tougher next time. Out. Steven Neal was not to be denied at the heavyweight division. Cal State Bakerfield junior Stephen Neal with a remarkable 20 to 5 victory over Trent Hennick of Iowa State. Give Hennick a huge round of applause because he did great things to get into these finals against Stephen Neal. But Stephen Neal had a much easier road to these finals. And he had plenty left in his bag as he got on to that mat. He was ready to grab the championship trophy here in the heavyweight division at the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championship. Stephen Neal making his way down to Jim Blandick. Matt Sonny, let's go down to them right now. Well, I'm here with the victorious Stephen Neal, Cal State Bakersfield. Stephen, you dominated all year. You dominated in the final. I just rest the way I, I practice. It paid off for me. Well, did the loss last year to Kerry McCoy in the finals be an incentive for you this year? It motivated me quite a bit, but I didn't uh, let it bring me down. How much more can you improve by next year? Leaps and bounds. But well, we're going to look forward to watching your best of luck. Thank you very much. Back to you, Lon. Thank you very much, Jeff. Congratulations to Stephen Neal, our final champion crowned here at Cleveland State University. But we'll be back here in just a moment to wrap things up. Stay with us.